Egypt is simultaneously one of the most fascinating and infuriating countries we have ever visited. An ancient land with a rich culture and more magnificent monuments than you can throw a stick at, Egypt is an intrepid traveler's dream destination. We start our Egypt adventures with possibly our favorite part of the entire trip, a leisurely float down the River Nile in a traditional felucca. Let's go! Alright, we're now eating like a $30 sandwich and Pringles, but... Welcome to Egypt, y'all. Well, guys, we have made it to Aswan. We did a terrible job filming today, but... As my mom said recently, I ain't got no time to watch people roll their luggage and go through the airport. Just get to the point. So, tomorrow we'll just get to the point of touring Egypt. Good morning, Lost Ones. We are here in Egypt and we just boarded our traditional Felucca tour. For the next two days, we're gonna be hanging out on this gorgeous traditional Nubian boat. Just putting down the Nile. Well, this is already starting out well. One of the traditional foods that you're supposed to have in Egypt is called karkade, and it's like a tea that's made with the hibiscus flower. It's this gorgeous ruby red color, and it's supposed to like help with keeping you from being dehydrated and stuff because you get a little minerals and all that stuff from it. So it looks beautiful. Hopefully it tastes beautiful. Oh, that's nice. It's a little bit like cranberry juice, not quite as tart as you would probably imagine from the color. It's hot though. Uh, I like it. Off we go. All right, so we've tried really, really, really hard to pronounce the names of our captain and our boatman, but they're really difficult and we keep messing them up. So they told us that their sea names are Minnie and Kingfisher. So they are for now and forever, Minnie and Kingfisher. But Kingfisher back here was just telling us that since we're going against the current of the Nile today to catch the wind, we have to sail sort of like this. So we just like, we're sort of weaving back and forth to catch the wind and push us against the current. Um, but we have we got lucky. We got a lot of wind today and we're moving pretty quick, so Yay. So there are a plethora of Nile River cruises that you can take and they all have different price tags. Literally you could spend an absolute fortune and do your entire Egypt trip on a Nile cruise. You can take a one hour boat ride up the Nile if you want. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. The most popular strip of the Nile to take a boat ride on is from Aswan up to Luxor um, with stops along the way at Kamombo and Edfu temples. This is where all the big cruise liners run from. Most people get on at Aswan or Luxor and go one way or the other. So what we have opted to do is take a traditional Felucca tour. The Felucca are Nubian boats that are like powered by this wood thing back here and a sail, uh, rudder, <laughs> and a sail. And um, this one is decked out obviously a little bit more than, than the traditional ones would have been. The traditional ones are a little bit smaller, more like a fishing boat with the rudder and the sail. Um, these are a little bit larger with sleeping quarters and that sort of thing. Um, they've been used to move people and goods up and down the Nile for millennia. 
we did not book our Egypt tour with a tour company. We're doing it ourselves as we go along, but we are using local guides and local tour companies because you really kind of have to. There's no other option. Some places you can't visit without a tour, like Abu Simbel. Um, so they're, they're, you're going to have to work with locals. You can't book everything yourself. So um, our Feluca tour, we have booked with a company called Aswan Individual. I believe we found them from another YouTuber's video. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's where I found them. Was able to email them, local company, and um, they got us they got us hooked up with these two guys and a few uh, and a few other things. So our tour was $300 for a basically two day, two full day, two night tour. Um, and that includes all of our meals and stuff like that. And our, our boatmen and, and it includes once we will sail as far as we can, as far as the wind allows. And then once we get to that spot, we will get out, we, they'll meet us with a car and they will take us on to the city of Luxor. Um, if we make it far enough to see Komombo and Edfu Temple on our sail, we will do that. If we don't, then we'll see it by car afterwards. So that's kind of all included. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's not the cheapest. It's also very, 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 very far from the most expensive. Um, some of the normal cruise ships are 300 and something dollars a night per person. Some of them are even more than that if you're on a luxury cruise. So um, you can really spend anything from a few dollars to thousands and thousands um, just based on what your preferences are so there's your rundown on the cruises pick whatever you want man so we have stopped in a little Nubian village here on the side of the Aslan while our boatmen are making lunch we're gonna take a little wander we've been instructed to go Go see, go see. So <laughs> we're going. Um, they he was telling us that this area, um, they're calling it like uh, Op, Op Aswan or something like that. But basically the city of Aswan has gotten too big. Um, there's not enough housing and stuff. So they are starting to build new housing in this part of the Nile, which is just a few kilometers up from where we started. Um, so yeah, you can see like there's some new buildings across the Nile. And so it's just sort of expanding this direction towards Luxor. We're trying to get going again from the shore after a little rest. It's kind of a team effort. Ryan's running the rudder, the boys are rowing, and uh, I'm chillaxing like a queen. Your side, yeah. Again, again. Do it again? Again.
they're having to do a technique he called walking the sail to like bend the mast down so that we can get underneath this bridge. I didn't do anything, but these guys made it. And the sail's back in place, so I don't really know how they did it, but they unhooked something up there and then picked up the whole sail, and took it out of the boat, and like tilted it, tilted it on a big rope. So instead of sit being straight up like this, they just unhooked the bottom and tilted the whole thing and held it in place till we got under the bridge and then pulled the ropes and the pulleys back and slid it back into place and locked it back up. That's my very technical explanation of walking the sail. Good morning guys. Day two on our Nile cruise, our Feluca Nile cruise. Get our coffee. We just woke up, slept last night. Start off hot, we got cold, got blankets, slept great though after that. And oh yeah, another beautiful day on the Nile. Unexpectedly cold this morning. I did not expect it to be cold, but it's pretty chilly. <laughs> double temple dedicated to the crocodile god Sobek and the falcon god Horus. The dates of Komombo temple are debated. However, they do know it was built in the Greek style sometime during the Ptolemaic period in the last couple of centuries BC. And there's a crocodile museum that has really nice cold air conditioning. <sighs> where you were born? In this area. In this area. This is, this is Captain Falafel mm -hmm. or Minnie or Minshui. 
Welcome, Princess Happy. Yeah, for me. Tell us about your village. Uh, my village also is uh, this area where I born, okay, mm -hmm. This is only here, just uh, two, three families, but it's bigger. Oh, okay. Really. My mother from here. Well, so what is the name of this village again? This is Bam Ben. Bam Ben. Yeah. Bam Ben. Bam. He's famous by ben ben. by uh, ben. Sun Excellent. <laughs> Bam. Ben. Ben. Bam Ben. 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 We try. Sing. We try. Yeah, of course. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. Very good. job. In the night time, his older children has come to fish. I show you in the night. You have you have bought us something special in the market. What is it? This is meat with uh, some good bread. You know, special okay. bread. I can make it by hand in the pot. Looks like that one. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, in an oven gas, like this. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, special to make by yourself. You know. What is and it called? Put it uh, in the top. What's the name? Uh, Hawaushi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hawaushi. Uh, only meat inside. You know. Okay. Just spiced meat? Uh, meat with a little bit sauce or okay. something. Okay. Now it's test and then tell me okay. you know, when you love it, it's okay. Right. My mother. Your mama needs you. you yes. can't, <laughs> you don't know, she uh, can't do it. No. You want a knife, uh, Abby? Uh, ah. I think it's okay. Alright. Welcome, welcome. Mmm. It smells like pepperoni pizza. Or no, like sausage pizza. Like a good sausage pizza. Mm. That's, that's very tasty. And Joey's mother was so gracious to show us around her home where she lives with Min Joey, his brother and his brother's wife and several children who kept sneaking in to see what the white people were doing and getting run out by grandma. She was insistent that she cooked us dinner, which unfortunately we didn't have time to stay for, but she was incredibly, incredibly sweet. She did not want to be on camera, but when we interviewed her about Menchoe, she said he'd pretty much been a bad boy his entire life. And then she said, mostly he's bad now because he won't get a wife and gives me some grandchildren. <laughs> Haven't we all heard that one? So we have officially ended our cruise on the Nile. We've gotten in our car and we are headed towards Luxor, but we decided to make the stop at Edfu Temple. And I think we might be the only people here. Well, we didn't expect to find you here.
this place is just massive. Yes. That's a wrap guys. Stay tuned for the next time when we take you on a whirlwind tour of the rest of ancient Egypt. We'll give you all the tips and tricks to survive Egypt, introduce you to a couple of the world's best tour guides, and see the only original seven wonder of the ancient world that's still standing. If you like this nonsense we made, hit subscribe for us and share with a friend who also likes nonsense. Now get lost. Mm -hmm.